Well, hey, everybody. I'm glad to be with you uh, yet again for our virtual Sunday school uh, weekly lesson. This week is week eight, and we are uh, talking about Exodus chapter 17 today. Um, last week, when we talked about Exodus chapter 16, remember Exodus, that's the second book in the Bible. We start with Genesis, and then we have Exodus, okay? When we talked about Exodus chapter 16 last week, we talked about how God <clears throat> promised he was going to provide food for his people, the Israelites. And so he gave them a, a, a special kind of bread. Do you remember what it was called? Yeah, it was called manna, right? Manna. And then he gave us, he gave his people these really special birds called quail. Yes, quail. And so today God's going to give them one more very special gift in the middle of the desert. He's going to give them water. Now, if you know anything about water, you know that water is very important for our bodies. It helps to keep us healthy and strong. It helps to uh, keep us so that we don't get sick. You can imagine that while Israel was walking through the desert for so many years, they must have gotten really, really thirsty. Well, here's what God says to Israel in Exodus chapter 17. He says the whole Israelite community left the desert. They traveled from place to place as the Lord commanded them. And they camped at Rephidim. That's a name of a town. But there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses. They said, give us water to drink. Remember how the Israelites were very uh, complaining? They, they like to groan and moan about all kinds of things. Well, they said, give us water to drink. But Moses said to them, why do you quarrel with me? Why are you fighting with me? The people were so thirsty for water. So they grumbled against Moses again. And they said, why did you bring us out of Egypt? Was it so that you would, you would hope we would die here? If we don't have water, we're not going to live. Well, Moses didn't mislead the people. He didn't want them to die. These were his people. He loved them. <clears throat> so he prayed to God right then and there. And he asked God to help his people by providing water for them. But here's the problem, right? Moses and the Israelites are smack in the middle of the desert. Is there a lot of water in the desert? No, it's mostly sand and cactuses. And so where was Moses going to find all this water? How could God possibly give him enough water for everybody to have something to drink? Well, here's what God says to Moses. He says, go with the people of Israel and take some of the elders, the, the leaders of the people of Israel with you. And I'm going to stand in front of you. And when you stand in front of this very special rock, I want you to hit that rock with your stick, your walking stick. I want you to hit it and water will come pouring out of it. It sounds crazy, I know, but this is really, truly what happened. God took Moses and the leaders of the Israelites into the desert a little further, and they came upon a rock, and Moses struck the rock with his walking stick, and water came out enough that everybody could have something to drink. Can you believe it? God did it again. God blessed the Israelites in the middle of the desert with something that is otherwise not easily found there. He'd given them food, bread, and quail, and now he's given them water. So here's our big point for this week, chapter, or week eight. There is absolutely nothing that God is not able to do for you, just like he did for Israel. Sometimes we feel like we, we need to ask God to give us something, or help us with something, or maybe take something away from us, like pain. And yet we think, you know what? That's completely impossible. There's no way God can, can do that for me. But what we have to remember is nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible for our God. He can do it. And we, we pray to him, and we ask him to, to hear our prayers and provide for us. He 
will help us. I hope you guys have a great week. And I hope you drink lots of water this week as you think about Moses and that water that came from the rock. Have a great week, everybody.